Hello friends, now we take a look at another question of physics which came in J.A. Advanced 2017, paper 1. The question is as follows. I131 is an isotope of iodine that beta decays to an isotope of xenon with a half-life of 8 days. A small amount of a serum labelled with I131 is injected into the blood of a person. The activity of the amount of I131 injected was 2.4 into 10 to 5 by Quirrell. It is known that the injected serum will get distributed uniformly in the bloodstream in less than half an hour. After 11.5 hours, 2.5 ml of blood is drawn from the person's body and gives an activity of 115 by Quirrell. The total volume of blood in the person's body in the lead, in liters is approximately now so basically in this question we need to estimate the total volume of blood in this person's body according to the data given right so let us uh, write down what what is given so basically uh, we have our isotope of iodine which they say that it uh, decays down into some isotopes of xenon having activity total activity let us say a naught being of value 2.4 into 10 is to 5 by Quirrell activity unit and uh, it ha its half life being 8 days basically and we have and it says that after 11 and a half hours after 11 and a half hours after this uh, sample after this serum is injected in human body after 11 and a half hours when we take out 2.5 ml of blood that sample gives an activity of 115 the quirrell so we need to find out uh, we need to basically estimate the volume of human volume of the blood of human body so now using the decay formula we can say that 0.691 upon t half into time is equals to ln natural log a naught and activity at any time t. So we have a naught which is the activity, original activity which was undiluted basically. Substituting these values, we have a naught being a 2.4 into 10 is to 5 and activity at any time t. Now, basically, we are interested in finding activity at 11, 11 and a half hours, right? So, we'll put in 11 and a half hours in this in here, 11 and a half hours, and we know the t half of xenon, which is 8 days. 8 days is basically 8 into 10, uh, 24 hours. Hours, hours get cancelled. Now, simplifying it, after simplifying it, we get uh, two point four into 10 is to 5 upon 80 e power. 0.41. This is basically the value of this. Now, there is a property of exponential function. If e, for e power x, you can approximately write approximate it as 1 plus x for x very very less than 1. So here we see that uh, this 0.041 is very very less than 1. So we can approximate it to 1.041. Right. So we have uh, activity at that time which is 11.5 hours being uh, 2.4 into 10 is to 5 upon 1.041 by Quirrell. Simplifying this we get uh, 2.3 into 10 is to 5 by Quirrell. Now this uh, activity is for basically the whole human body's blood, right? But we only take the sample of uh, about 2.5 ml and measure the activity. So we can use unitary method to calculate the total volume. Let us say that the total volume of human blood BV 
in V we have this activity A at T which is 2.3 into 10 is to 5 Buckwell and for uh, volume 2.5 ml we have activity which is which was given to us 115 Buckwell now simply solving it V upon 2.5 ml gives you 2.3 into 10 is to 5 but quarrel upon 115 but quarrel if you simplify it you will get V as 5 into 10 raised to 3 ml which is nothing but since uh, m is milli which is 10 raised to minus 3 we get volume as 5 liters